Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So glad you guys are here. If this is your first time, or your first time in a long time that you've been back to my channel, welcome back. I kind of just stepped back, stepped away, just didn't want to put out any videos because I wasn't going to put out videos just to put out a video, if you know what I mean. I just wasn't in the mood, wasn't feeling it. But anywho, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button down below just yet, well, click the subscribe button and that little bell next to it. That'll let you know when I upload new videos. Welcome back to all my returning friends. Happy Thursday, Friday. Film on Thursday, upload on Friday. I am leaving my house for the first time since Sunday. If I can get out of my driveway, that is. <coughs> We have a driveway that has rocks for the driveway, so it's hard to do the snow blower because <clears throat> we don't want to throw rocks and hit vehicles and houses and windows and you know all that stuff. And snow plows have come by, which shocks me because normally we get dumped on with snow. We got dumped on with snow this past weekend. It'll take them days before they come down and plow our roads. We got the big snowstorm on Friday last week, and the snow plows were out plowing our roads. I want to say they were there on Saturday. First one was there on Saturday, and we have had the snow plows come down three times this week, and we haven't had any snow this week. So I'm like, what the heck is going on? So we got this big old ridge back behind the trucks. Well, not John's because he's been going to work. But mine, because I haven't left the house since Sunday. Maybe it was Sunday that they came for the first time. I can't remember. Did we get the snowstorm Friday going into Saturday? So Sunday was still kind of yuck, I think. So maybe it was Sunday that they came for the first time. Anyways, they have been down our streets at least four times since the snowstorm, which that never happens. Usually we get them once and it's days and upon days. Anyways, it's sunny out, but it's cold. It has been cold all week. Yesterday, I noticed it more so when I was working. Um, there must be a more draft up in my office or my craft room now it is. Um, up there that room is always the warmest room in the house because it's the direct line up from the furnace to the upstairs anyways it's the warmest room upstairs it was very cold yesterday my feet were freezing but anyways today's sunny which is nice it'll make me happy but it's cold i am out i'm just running a few errands for some reason spoons have been disappearing in our house and we have hardly any spoons and I'm like what the heck is up with that so I'm gonna go buy some spoons and if there's anything else that I find um, I'll share with you but I'm really not out looking for anything <clears throat> I've kind of put myself on a no spend freeze for a while here just because I've got so many craft projects and so much stuff in my craft room that I don't need to buy any new craft supplies. So I'm just working on what I have on hand and going from there, but I don't know, maybe something will grab me. <clears throat> grab me, grab my attention. Anywho, what has been up since my last video, which was back in December? which I'll link up above if you care to watch that one. Um, that was my secret mom swap, Christmas swap, and the fun little goodies that I got from Ingrid. Oh, what have we been up to? We've had Christmas, um, New Year's, just not a whole lot going on because I mean hey you can't go anywhere and do anything anyways um, we have just now this week um, 
restaurants have opened up for indoor dining, which is nice. So maybe John and I will go out for dinner this weekend. Um, anything else? Nothing really else going on. I mean, it's, it, with the cold winter icky stuff, I don't really need to do much anyways. You guys know that. Um, but we haven't had winter per se. It's just been kind of a easy keel January and the first weekend in February we, winter decided to come in two days. We got roughly a foot of snow if not more than that dumped on us and I'm over winter. I'm always over winter but anyways what else have I done? I did I got my hair cut um, I did share that on Instagram, so I've got, it's, it's, real, it's short in the back, longer here on the sides. I miss being able to put my hair up into a ponytail and up into my, one of my buns, but I was ready for the change and just usher in a new year, brush off 2020 and start 2021 better, fingers crossed, that it stays better. Um, I finished my Afghan for last year. It is so pretty. I will probably do a little quick clip when I get home and I'll share what it looks like on that. Um, and I started a new one. This one I've been sharing on is Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, my link is down below. Follow me over there and you'll see more of my updates on a regular basis there. So I started a new one there and I'm using fall colors. So it's going to be my fall temperature afghan for the whole year. Love the stitch. It's, very, it's gonna be very, very pretty. I love it. Um, what else did I do? I started a new cross stitch temperature chart. I finished my one last year, the, the tree. Um, finished that one out. Love that. I still have to figure out how I want to frame it. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Finished some other cross stitch projects um, and they're just kind of hanging out in my craft room until I decide how I want to fully finish them off because I haven't decided what I want to do with those yet. Um, Valentine's Day is this weekend, and this is the first year in a long time that I have not put up Valentine decor. Just wasn't, I'm just not in the mood for much. I've got my winter decor up, which I absolutely love, which is so weird because I'm not a winter person. I dis despise winter, but I love my winter themed decor that I have in my, on my hutches, and just love them. And, excuse me, I did share pictures on Instagram for that. Maybe I'll do a quick little video of that as well, when I get home as well. Um, that is about it that's going on here with me. Oh, I did put in an order for some Valentine cookies um, for the kids and for the boys. And then a couple for John that I have to go pick up tonight between 5 and 7. And once I get them home, maybe I'll just kind of either do a little picture and insert it in or whatnot. But they're so cute. So I got one for each of the boys and I got one for Ivy. And a couple for John, but they're cute. I can't wait to get them. Um, other than that, not a whole lot is going on with me. Um, I'm hoping, beyond hoping, that life can go back to somewhat of some normalcy and we can get out and do things because I'm just kind of over all of this and being stuck within my four walls it's starting to go stir crazy more so stir crazy than the normal winter blues stir crazy if you know what I mean I'm gonna run into Walmart real quick, pick up my spoons that I need to get, and if there's anything else, I will pop back on and share that with you, but I will share my half can once I get back home. So I'll talk to you guys when I get back home. All right, so I'm back home. Um, all I got was the spoons. I didn't buy anything else. Go me, doing good. I'm not spending any money that I don't need to spend. So, as I promised, I was going to um, show you the afghan. So, the <clears throat> temperature afghan. It is 
finish and it is so pretty. I love it and it's heavy, thick, warm. So it does keep me nice and warm, especially when I'm up here working and need to, so I don't remember which, I don't know if it started January this side all the way through or what, but anyway, so you've got your lighter purples and then the summer months being warmer and then back to the cooler. I can look at my cast on edge. I'll tell you. Um, no, I won't tell you because they look the same. <laughs> anyway, so that's my Afghan. Just all the, the pretty colors and it's nice and warm absolutely love this and i love working on year-long projects like this so it just gives me something to do um, each and every day with my projects and it's fun um you can never have too many afghans blankets laying around the house i'll fold this up later um my one for this year, like I said, um, I am doing colors of fall, a fall scheme. I can insert a picture here. And that is the color schemes that I'm using. I just want to get it so I don't have, I got to finish out this week's um, thing. So I have a little bit more to go on the third row and then I got one more row. But anyways, this is where I'm at so far, five weeks, almost five weeks and I got to finish up this week. So I've got greens that I'm in for quite a while and then I'll get into the oranges and the yellows and the reds and I have a hangnail that's gonna bug me. But <clears throat> working on that one this week and then my tree, I'm trying to find. All of my without losing my buttons I've got some projects in here that I have some buttons on I don't want to lose them um I can show you I guess a couple of them that I finished I'll roll my chair back up so my temperature tree one that I finished and Cannot wait. I don't put years on mine. I usually write in the back of the frames. I don't know. I may come in and just put 2020 down in there. I don't know. I haven't decided that. And partly why I haven't framed it yet because I don't want to do it. I have to iron it yet on there. And then this one I just finished. This one kind of went along with my friend Shannon and I because um, we always text each other. Not as frequently as what we have been in the past, but we just kind of like update each other what we've been doing um, stitching wise and this one is um, it's called Thread Needle Street and it says we don't say goodnight till our stitching's complete that's how we roll here on Thread Needle Street and I finished that one and I'm probably just going to put it in a pillow about I don't know yay wide I'm on a pillow kick on cross stitch stuff that I'm finishing I don't know what other ones have I finished. I finished some gnomes. I don't know if I have anything that's going to be. I have this cute little guy finished. He needs to be ironed too. A lot of these, like our Valentine's, I'll be putting them into pillows to put in my dough bowl on my dining room table. Oh, that one's got my buttons. Let me move my buttons. So I have buttons to sew on this one. More gnomes. Love, 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 love them. And then these ones are tiny, so these are going to be littler pillows, but just some hearts. This one says, be mine. Whoops. Be mine. And then this one just says, love. And the fabric here, I dyed myself with Rit dye have that on there and then this one I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> sorry no it just says and my love it looks like it's backwards to you guys I think is it backwards it looks backwards to me hopefully it's not backwards to you guys but 
So just some of the ones I just need to finish off into pillows, but that's everything I have, guys. Um, I may have a picture inserted at the very end of the cookies that I'm going to go pick up for the guys in Ivy um, later, but I don't pick those up for a few more hours, but that's everything I have. So hopefully, 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 fingers crossed, I can be back here on a regular schedule. Hopefully I have a tasty Tuesday up for you guys next week, but until I see you again, remember to live a little, laugh a lot, and love always. Bye guys. All right, so I just got back from picking up the cookies. They came in this bag with a thank you for supporting my business. And then it's got love with the heart cookie. That was an extra thing. And she had them sitting out on her porch. So it was porch pickup. So my name was on it. So cute. And now look at these cute cookies. So this is Nerd Boy, I think is what it was called. So I got two of those for each of the boys. So those are there. And then this one I got for Ivy. And it's a, a nerd girl. So cute. And it's shaped, as a, I think, in a heart. I think is what it is, kind of. It's so cute. And then this one that I got for my husband. It's a gnome. And then the... There's gnome one like you. <laughs> so cute. Anyway, so I got these cookies to give to the... The kids and then to my husband and him and I will share that one, but so cute.